Okay, so here in the main menu, I have everything arranged as I typically send out builds. Uh, so I typically don't use these ones. Uh, these are the very last go-to if everything else over here fails. Uh, these should work no matter what. If they don't, um, you have serious problems. Uh, some games may not work, that's fine, but if the emulator itself doesn't detect uh, any games or anything, it's something wrong with your SD card. But uh, at this point in time, you should have your external hard drive plugged in. Your Wii games uh, go into a folder called WBFS. So that's uh, Whiskey, Bravo, Foxtrot, Sierra. WBFS. And inside that, you'll have your games. Uh, for your GameCube, all your GameCube games, uh, they need to be in a games folder, which is, uh, so your main folder will be games, lowercase, G-A-M-E-S, and then all your games inside that uh, will basically uh, have just your title or your title ID. Uh, so yeah, that's the only thing that will be on your external hard drive. It's two folders and then all your games inside those two folders. And uh, I'll just give you a quick preview and then we'll uh, just try to get a quick video of all the settings. That way if anything goes wrong, uh, you guys can back out and adjust those settings to how I have it. You can see the USB is initializing here. takes a few seconds for this to load. I have uh, a two terabyte drive, so I have it stock full of games. So there, that little Wii icon up top there, um, you select that and that'll select your sources. I typically only ever show these two, um, but you can also show your uh, e EMU NAND channels, which are your WiiWare N64 and just other uh, we were games or NAND games. Uh, so there you go, I have 280 GameCube and Wii games. Uh, GameCube games again are notorious for uh, emulating. Uh, they can be difficult so it's best to go to the compatibility website uh, after the first few tries. If it doesn't work, try it once. If it doesn't work, just try it again. At, at that point in time, that's when I would re review the compatibility website, adjust your settings as necessary, and then try the game again. If the game doesn't work on the third try after you adjusted your settings, I would go and try it in Wii Flow. Uh, just go ahead and run Wii Flow and it should work. So let's give a quick preview, see if this one works. So this GameCube uh, window, if it stops halfway or partway, or just gives you a black screen and doesn't load, then you would have to adjust settings. So that's a typical indication that it's a video setting. Uh, so I can show you that. Uh, so I just typically say yes or no here, it doesn't matter, but I'm just going to exit. I don't need to play this. Uh, I will show you though. My typical uh, GameCube pad is this fight pad. Uh, I bought it at Addy's Attic uh, for $28. Uh, great, great price. Uh, very reliable controller. Uh, that's what I use. So again, I have Addy's Attic uh, for $28. And uh, there may be a few more places in town that you can also get it. Um, yeah, so here's all your Wii games. Uh, let's just quickly run through the settings. So we have GUI, loader, hard drive, features, uh, a bunch of other ones. I'll just show you quickly all the settings. You guys will have to pause the video each time if you want. Uh, here I was talking about the black screen, so you would change this here in the first menu, you would change this to system.
So it changes the system default. And then I'll be back out of that. And then I would select a game and then I would change the game load option. I'll change the video here to to either auto or force NTSC and then save that. So that would save this settings for that one game. So once you get a game working once, uh, you save it and then that saves that game for the most part. So I'm going to put that back to disk for now because it seems to be fine. So here's all the settings. Make sure all this is exactly the same. I typically turn the auto initiate network on. Um, that allows us to download covers and all that. So these are the settings. Again, you can see everything is on the SD card. Except for your games, you'll see that. Uh, so here's your main GameCube games. That's the folder as I was telling you about. And that's about it. I'll just show you what version this is, just in case. Okay, so that's it. So that's your settings there. I'll pause it and go to the go to our next one. So the next one will be WeFlow. I'll let that load. Mm -hmm.